You're probably wondering why I'm taking this video from my cell phone. I was hacked. Recently, a friend of mine on the dark web asked if I wanted to go shopping. I said sure, and he sent me something called malware. I ran it without hesitation because I had Windows firewall on. I thought I could dodge bullets. It turns out the malware only appeared to be sent by my friend. Much like an interception in football, this was caused by a man in the middle attack. Windows started reporting weird error messages like 53 potential hacks detected and printer running low on toner. In a panic, I shut my computer down and threw it out the window. I knew I'd lose all my World of Warcraft experience, but I've hacked a lot of companies. The only surefire way to stop yourself from getting thrown in jail is to obliterate any connection leading back to you. That's why I have to wear all this identity protecting gear. Look, here's the sad state of things. This was all my fault. I taught you all how to hack. I should have been spending more time focusing on prevention methods. If you let your guard down for even a second, someone will turn your computer into an entire botnet. I'm going to teach you how to make your computer literally unhackable. First, you'll want to upgrade your computer to an operating system called Linux. Linux was made by the Department of Defense in the early 1800s to be completely secure. It was written in Latin and it wasn't translated until just recently. I'm sure you're wondering, what's the price of such a valuable asset? Well, it doesn't cost any money, but the system itself is practically unusable. Let me show you. As you can see, there are no graphics on Linux, and you have to give up your favorite Windows programs like Notepad and Calculator. Once you've upgraded, things get pretty technical. You have to do everything using a command called curl, probably so named because of how your mouth will naturally curl into a frown whenever you try to use it. <laughs> Here, I'll search Google for hacking tools. Yeah, I'm underwhelmed too. But wait, it gets worse. Let's say I want to see a picture. I have to use the aptly named Kaka view for that. Enough of the mundane stuff. Hacking is in my blood and I need to show you how to recover from a man in the middle attack. Linux makes excessive use of evil hacking programs called demons. These programs all end in a D so that you know you're wielding nefarious power. We'll be using CD, or the control demon, to take over my hacker's computer. You know what they say, the best defense is a good offense. First, we need to figure out where they're hiding using a command called which. Oh no. It's just as I feared. The USSR is behind this. We're in deep waters now. Still, we need to proceed. We'll invoke the control demon on that computer. We can see that we're now logged in as their root user without even needing so much as a password. That's the power of Linux. Now for the ultimate tool. We're going to wipe their computer clean using the rm command. The only thing you need to be careful about here is that you specify the root level of their computer. Otherwise the man in the middle will be able to regrow all of his files. And that's it. Next time he tries to log in, he'll be in for a world of hurt. That'll teach him to try hacking people way out of his league.